What? For your tally. Pinky promise. I don't, me. What else are you going to put on the table <laughs> for the deal? Since you you turned it down, what else are you putting on the table? Gosh, I think that's it right there. See the marking? 925. 925. Oh my goodness. Tie. 7 Tie, to 7. Tie. 7 to 7. You know what? What? This is getting too intense. I think I need a break. <laughs>I'm George, everyone, from What The Hills. Today's episode is just gonna be me only and no Jeremy. I thought we were gonna have a competition uh, to see who can find more gold and silver. That's right, we can't have a competition without Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> I thought the competition always was without me anyway because you always win. Why is everybody trying to say that you have more points than me because there is a piece of silver well, in that apparently, ring? Well, apparently, and this is a good point, they're saying that this is for sure gold, even though we didn't find a marking. Mm -hmm. And this coin that's in here, yeah. apparently that's a coin, is real silver. But we're not counting it because we didn't find any markers indicating that it's 100% gold and silver so therefore it is still tied the competition is still it goes on. on bring it on seven to seven here we go ladies first george i know you just went in the last video and this is the uh exciting to be continued part two oh, so, so remember you can choose anything you can choose any of these stacks the goal is to find gold which is two points or silver, which is one point. One point. Any and we're, type of gem, yep. or any type of pearl, any type of diamond. We're currently tied seven to seven. seven. We're currently tied uh, seven to seven. I'm gonna go with this. That right there. That. This tin right here. That's a big it's tin. It's a vintage Levi's tin. There's gotta be something in there. Oh, look at that. Baby, is that silver? Buckeye. Protective ink. Protective ink, 416. Is that the popo coming after you again? What is it with you <laughs> and the popo? Did you eat your apple I a day? Doubt, I doubt that this is real, but I am going to wear it. What do you always say? Eat an apple a day? Keeps the popo away. Everybody knows that. Except they're always after you for disturbing <laughs> the peace. Oh, look at this. Too pretty. Always disturbing this. the peace. Forget a uh, jewelry loop. I'm going to use this instead. That actually, that may that may help. You might this be able to actually see. This identify jewelry. You probably will be able to see a little bit better. What's that? It says cross. Little tweezers. Some tweezers. Oh, we can okay. use these tweezers to pluck your back hairs. I thought you were just going to wax them all. Well, will you let me at least pluck like the hairs around your nipples with these? Why don't you leave the nips alone <laughs> and leave the tips alone and... You know I'm just teasing. Yeah, right. So, so far we've There's got nothing. There's absolutely no tease in her about this. So far we've got absolutely nothing. So this is this came from a storage unit. This was the war storage unit as well. Hmm. And again, we found everything. S. S Parrish. Parrish. That had to be the name of somebody. All right. You think he was the officer? Maybe. But everything just kind of... Kind of got what thrown aside that there was potential gold or silver in it. Resor resourceful. Cody was resourceful. Hmm. Oh, what is this? A mini cannonball? Well, ball? it actually... So, I have found a mini war cannonball before from that World War II. That could be a cannonball. And if you recall... Actually, there's a video on the channel. I sold it on eBay for $100. You $99.99. Did? Was there any marking on it? Nope. No marking whatsoever. So but what it if was this is a cannonball. But it's not. That's just a ball bearing. But I have sold a war cannonball. It was a two inch cannonball. There is a video on the channel from the vintage beginning days. Nice. Is this $100. a vintage top? It's probably the bottom. The bottom to something, <laughs> not the top. Okay, here's another fancy pin. Looks like a fire truck. It's really cool. Uh I doubt that it's anything. Look at the back. Okay, so I see a I. copyright. All right. All right, what else we got here? All right, all right, all right. <gasps> oh, the Hulk! Is that the Hulk? Oh, you know the who Hulk. The, reminds me of the Hulk at the What the Hales Camp, Camp Hales. The Green Hulk? The Green Hulk. Smash. Oh, another set of tweezers. Mm. I know what I could use these Now for. we can do your nose hairs. That'd be perfect for your nose hairs. Or we could use it on... 
Don't you dare look up my nostrils. Baby, everybody knows you're Arabic Everybody and knows that if I didn't shave my mustache, I would look just like my son Joey. That's true. That but is I, true. But I don't shave my mustache. I pluck it. That's, pluck. You that is pluck? true, too. I'll pluck it. Everybody thinks it's a joke, but that's truth. That's 100% truth. Usually, we've spent the last three Christmases in Florida yeah. looking for wild dolphin. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this season, this past we, did Christmas, not, we didn't see any. No dolphin sightings. But maybe one of our best Christmases ever. It was so much fun at Cedar Key. Last year, there was a wild dolphin swimming around your ankles. A wild dolphin? A wild dolph? There was a, a wild, wild delf? dolphin. Were you saying delf? Swimming around Jeremy's cankles <laughs> looking ankles. for fish. Yeah. So that is that is a necklace charm from a wrestler. It's a creepy mask. Yeah, definitely a creepy mask. Definitely not creepy is what I meant. Oh, not creepy. That's what I yeah. thought you meant. It says Kitty Car Classic, a Hallmark pin. Hmm. That's got to be worth something, but definitely not. Again, uh, not gold or silver. I'm, I'm going to have a tack pin lot. For, uh, for a tie of ten, uh, 7 to 7. I'm not doing too hot. No. You don't have to do hot when you're as hot B as you. B for Brian, your middle name. How does it uh, how's it feel to be one of the beautiful people that life is so easy for because you are beautiful? Mm, I wouldn't say all that. Oh. I mean, I tell you all the time that you're... See all that smoke? That you're pretty hot and tempting. You're oh. fat. P-H-A-T. This is nothing, unfortunately. Mm, it's just some nothing. type of clam. We already know this is nothing. All right, that looks like oh. More tweezers. You know what those tweezers are for? This has to be a sign. This uh, has to be a sign of what? That we keep finding all these tweezers. I don't want to know what that's a sign of. Give me your back hair. There's a lot of interesting stuff in what that is Levi's tin. That looks like. Oh, that... here's an earring, but I doubt. You don't think that's silver? I doubt that that's real. Down this it. looks like a chain from a fan. Oh, and there's the other part of it right there, Harbor Breeze. That is, it's a it's a fan chain to oh, turn the fan blades on yeah. or the light. Yeah, yeah. There's still some hope of gold and silver in there. <gasps> a nickel, but it's got like a boil. Okay, so usually I give you my pickle for a nickel. What do I give you? I what do I give you a toil for a boil? <laughs> Look at that. It's got some type of growth on there. How weird is that? I think somebody like was practicing some welding. You know what? A lot of people say there are no silver nickels, and that's not true. During the World War II, there were silver nickels, so there was silver content in the nickels. So we always check nickels for silver, but it's only specific years for that silver. But unfortunately, no silver for you yet. I tack. But I doubt that that's real. Here's it's probably a D swank. for uh, for D. A D is for D. Yeah. This probably isn't real, or is it? I don't know. I don't see any markings. So I'm gonna say it's not real. Well, oh, you lost your marble. Wouldn't be the you first time, would it? My marbles. Wouldn't be the first time you Definitely lost your Definitely wouldn't marbles. be the first time. Oh, look at that. Check that out. That's another firefighter, right? Yeah. Like antique or firefighter pin. Or some type of pin. emergency vehicle, vehicle. This would be a really cool auction lot with all these pins. It which I be. have a feeling... I have a feeling there's going to be a ton of them coming up in our auctions on Wednesday night. I see the year 2000. Okay. And then I see the word millennium. Are you a millennium baby? Are those dolphins? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. Are you a millennium baby? Unfortunately, I'm at the top of the deadline. Like, I am considered a millennial. Like, I literally am right there. What the hell was cutoff. I thinking? <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? I was so disappointed. I, I was so ashamed. <laughs> oh, there's a nice little airplane. That's not Disney, is it? Mm-mm. It's hmm. got the same markings on the back feet. That MI yeah. initial. So more pins over here. So that'll go with uh, the tack pin lot. What is this? That looks like Best Seizder. Oh, that's me. That's my title. Best Seizder? Mm -hmm. I am. I'm the Best Seizder. I George thought your George. title was Asian Invasion. George George will tell you, my brother, that I am his favorite Seizder. Okay, so there you have it <laughs> on camera. I'm not sure I would have admitted any of that on camera, but there it is. He's even said it. He said it on camera? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so there's another another tack there, another pin. You know this... what? I think I'm lucking out. I don't think I'm gonna win this round. It looks like a lot of earrings. These are cuffs. Yeah, right cuff button. links, button cuffs. Which all of this, all of this will go in our Wednesday night auctions. So historically, from the beginning of What the Hales, we have been going live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. But, but new year, new schedule. Yep. We're going to go live every Wednesday, Wednesday night at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And that's followed when... By, followed by an auction. So taking so a guys, risk, yeah. George George now goes live. Taking a risk is this channel. He goes live take our spot. Sunday night yeah. auction at 9 p.m. And we are going live every Wednesday night where you can buy a lot of the stuff that you see in our videos. Yeah, so if you see something you like, stay tuned. Because... If you want earrings, we got them for days. <laughs> we just... Right. Um... I think I'm going to tap out. I don't think there's anything good in here. So I mean, anything worth points in here. So There's you're saying, here. so you're saying, still seven to seven, and that you're still not claiming. Yeah, I'm not gonna claim. You're it. not claiming that. You're not claiming fair the silver. Fair. fair is fair. Fair is fair, mm -hmm. and uh, your turn. Really? You're up next. Here you're we go. Next. Bring on the gold. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> she took my clothes and plucked all my body hair. She did it. She had three. Tweezers to hey, do it. Hey, 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 it had to be done. No, none of it, it had, had to, to be, be done. done. It did not have to be done. Yes, it did. But now I feel so silky smooth. <laughs> okay, let's see. I bet My you turn. feel more like a man. No, I absolutely do not. I don't. You don't feel more masculine not now that I've plucked your chest hairs? Not at all. But oh. these would be, this This is starting to make me actually feel masculine. Ma um, what, what was that? Masculine. Masculine? Masculine. Okay. You know what? Oh my goodness! Look at this. This is all. This is all World War One. Oh man! Tons of cool stuff, but I doubt man. that you'll get any points. So take the one with. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, wait, 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 gold wait. and silver. Hold a second. Look at this. This is all from World War One. You see this right here? Uh -huh. Look at this. This is all World War One. All right, State Park, Watkins Glen State Park, one of America's greatest beauty spots. Uh, very cool. Let's see if we can find a date in here. I don't want to bend it though. Copyright. Do you, do you still speak Roman numerals? Mm -hmm. You do? All right. What date is it? That says 19. All right. So anyways, <laughs> there's a state park. 1903. Brochure. If I read that correctly. Let's just, oh, look at that. There's a postcard in there and everything. My goodness, there's oh, nice. such cool stuff in here. I love a good postcard. A lot of these vintage postcards are worth oh, money. Maybe it should be right in there. Okay, so I'm just, I only, oh, look at that right there. It goes in there. So this must have been promotional for Watkins Glen State Park. Mm -hmm. Which maybe we should actually go and see sometime. Now, I'm hoping... Here was my thought in pulling this. I'm seeing World War I stuff. Now, George and I, we don't advocate war. And we don't advocate what was happening on the bad people's side in regards to the war. But back then, a lot of silver and a lot of gold was used during the war. So I actually... I, I want to be careful. Look at that. That's, that's glass for this display. Yeah. I got a feeling we're gonna find some silver. At a minimum, we're gonna find some silver in here. Can you read that? Do you, mm -hmm. what does it say? It says, George, Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Good job. Found it. Okay, let's see what we have here. This feels very, very 19. Looks like two people holding What is that, 1935? Yeah, or 36. Does that say, look right there, S-A-A-R, S-A-A-R, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so truth and something. Let's turn it around. Let's see what it says back here. Do you see any markings there? It feels like aluminum. I was hoping tarnish. I was thinking that that was going to be silver based on the dates, and that was going to be tarnish, but... That is aluminum. Now remember, George and I know a lot about, we know we a know little, little bit about a about lot of things. <laughs> we don't know a lot about actual 
one thing. We don't specialize in we just We don't one specialize thing. in anything. Yeah. We have to know enough to be dangerous. So some of you right now are going, oh, I know exactly what that is. You guys are- And if you it, do- You guys, you guys are so, you're, mor you're morons. You're morons, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're morons. You don't know anything. How can you not know? Uh, because we deal with millions and millions and millions of different things. We don't specialize like most people do. But if you guys do specialize in certain items- Help us out. Help us out, let us know in the okay. comments. So there, let us all learn from there one another. Is, there is an opportunity that this could be real pearl. Let's find out. <laughs> I don't understand that test. Well, this I'm not testing. I'm just pretending to be you right now. <laughs> She's laughing because she does this nonstop. It's one of her tics. <laughs> That is not what yeah, I do. Definitely one of her tics. Okay, Keep in so mind, folks. Jeremy likes to over exaggerate because exaggeration, I think exaggeration equals, equals comedy. comedy. <laughs> Tell her that all the time. Exaggeration equals comedy. Oh, is that a passport? Okay, Deutschland Reich. Deutschland Reich. So let's see. You see what that is right there, right? So this is definitely oh, I German. Do know. This is German. This is this is World War One. I honestly don't know. Do you think it's a passport? It's well, that's what I was or... thinking. It's probably a passport. Yeah, look at the stamp. It's probably a German passport. 1940. Wow. Yeah, this is probably a German passport. Jeez, just the history that... Just within so this one cool. thing, the history. So there, there's a, a ribbon there. Again, I don't know what the ribbon is for. Here's another one of these pins. And again... The same, say the same thing. Yeah, it's gonna say the exact same thing. I think that's 1935 right there. Mm -hmm. S S A R 1935. S A A R. This is. That's a vintage boomerang. Yes, yeah, vintage boomerang. I can't read it too small, upside down, but no well, doubt you got to figure says, it out, right? Uh, Lang Longo Bearish. O H. Oh, okay. So, or a different language. Yeah, could be O H I O. We don't know. Right here, this is going to be silver. You see this? You see the tarnish on that right there already? I see. I can already tell this is silver. Hopefully, it's marked and I get a point. And I oh, cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That is a piece of silver. It's not marked. Much as I hate this jewelry loop, and jewelry loops do not work for us. You know how many people hate it when we say that? People that who love jewelry like loops. They're like, jewelry loops. We are like the, using the bad thing. There's in other the world. things that, that work. Yeah, well, the, this does not work, especially when you're trying to film for YouTube. It horribly does not work. So that's why magnifying glasses are always the best. We this like is this is silver. It is not marked. So what do I get? It goes in the unknown pile. Nothing. And then you get settle. I actually want to keep it in here because this is all war. This is all war collectibles. Well, what's up Look with at that the right stamps? there? 1994. I'm getting there. 19 uh, not 94. 1914 to 1918. Mm -hmm. And again, these typically were silver as well. There's a marking right there. But again, 0 .10, 0 .10. that marking is not going to get us uh, what we want as far as a point. This is 1914 to 1918, again, World War I, and you can see right there. 0 0.12. All right, so very, very cool history here. This is definitely silver. Without a doubt, this is silver. Do you think it's marked? Hmm. I don't see any marking at all. As a matter of fact, I see some corrosion over here, and that's not customary of silver. So maybe that might have thrown me off a little bit. I don't know why the corrosion is there. Look, it's not. There's no corrosion on the top. It's just tarnish. Mm -hmm. But there's corrosion on the bottom. That's throwing me off a little bit. I'm not so sure about that. Look at these. These here. This looks like. This what looks like pins? definitely German. I've never seen anything like it before. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never found anything like it before. And I think that's definitely would be German art. So I think those are pins. I think it's German art. Is it made out of clay? It feels like it, it is. It feels like it definitely is made out of clay. Again, never seen anything like it before. 
But um, I have seen some of these things before. Like, here we go. Here's another medallion. And 1939. So, fur, F U R, we know that word, right? It's definitely in German. Okay, so that's German. So, this would have been a German soldier given to a German soldier. Look at this. This pin here is actually cracked right there. Mm. Interesting. Let's look at the back and. No markings, mm -mm. no markings. Although I wouldn't doubt that that does have silver in it. This I think is porcelain. So I think that white is the porcelain there. Let's take a look at the back and I get, wait, there is markings. There is markings. Where, what, where, where, where? Right there, right there. You can't see that? Not through the viewfinder. All right, then you know what I have to do. Where's your O-light? <laughs> That's what I really need. I need, I need the O-light. And I need the magnifying With glass. And here we go. Here we go. There is markings. What if this is all in German marking and I can't speak German? What's German for silver? I have no idea. Eight, one, three, four uh -huh. in a box. Uh huh. No, eight, one, three, H in a box. And then big numbers, two, two, one, zero, zero. I don't know what that means, but. If it's not clearly marked <laughs> silver or gold, I don't get a point. So it's still seven to seven. This almost, that almost looks like um, Boy Scouts of America, right? Mm -hmm. But definitely not Boy Scouts of America. But we, we do have markings there as well. I see markings right down in there. Can you see the markings on the edge? Mm, there's definitely initials LSG1, maybe, okay. or L561. All right, so you're seeing better than I am, and just so cool. This has got to all be from oh, World that? War One. Um, this, I think, is oh that from back Hit hair I that think, I yanked. No, I was thinking that was probably from Hitler's bathroom, from the bathroom floor around the toilet. Yoink! Yoink! So gross. <laughs> Here's another one of these. Fifty. Uh, something. Different language. Yeah, I don't speak any. I barely speak English. And then we've got Dutchland Reich stamps here. And 2K. Okay. You know what I'm thinking here, George? Hmm. Did we say what that was? Like a it's, rabbit it's or just, something? It's just another pin. I mean, I, I think it's German folk art is what I think it is. I, I, I don't know for sure. But um, what I do know for sure, still tie competition. Seven to seven, you're up. Good thing I took those tweezers and plucked your upper lip. <laughs> Don't want to be twinning with your son now, do ya? What are you thinking? Oh, gosh. It's um, a lot of cool stuff there. Tons of cool stuff. You know what? Chicken butt. I think, I think, I think... I don't know why this is here. I don't. I don't know. It just it's in a pile of stuff. That I think came I'm going to go with this. You're going with that? Yeah. Uh, I remember what this unit... That like came from Painesville. That came from Painesville. There was tons and tons of makeup in that unit. And there were tons and tons of gift cards. Remember when we did the gift card challenge? Oh, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. That, was, that we, was interesting. We still have all the gift that cards to check with the merch credit and everything, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. We'll get to it. Don't okay. worry. All right, so these don't count. Nope, those definitely don't. What about and that? Does that count? This mm. right here. These definitely don't count. Mm, uh, that's another no counter. Okay. Okay. So George is finding some stuff there. Here's a pair of air rings, but I could tell you right now these probably are not real. Okay. Most Bigger likely. the hoop. What? What did you teach me? Bigger the hoop. More gold. Mm. Isn't that no, what I you don't taught think that's me? That's what I taught you. Oh, what did you teach me? Bigger I think the you're hoop. Thinking of someone else. Okay. Bigger the hoop. Bigger the payday. <laughs> <laughs> bigger the hoop, bigger the score. Isn't that what you taught me? Bigger the hoop, uh, bigger the you know, score. I'm not sure where you're going with this, Jeremy. I don't remember teaching you such things. Bigger the hoop, bigger the payoff, the score. I don't remember teaching you yeah, such things. You definitely taught me the same. <laughs> definitely taught me. All right, it to what me. do we have here? Oh, love. Love, it's free. Huh. Definitely not real. All right, do you want to wear it, though? For sure, not real. You think you could no, start wearing that one? 
Metals like that irritate my skin. And I know I'm not the only one out there that's sensitive to different metals. Yeah. Unless it's sterling or gold or white gold, like it irritates my skin. I end up getting like little bumps. That almost looks sterling, doesn't this it? This does almost look sterling. But there's no marking. Definitely no marking. Mm. I'm going to put this in the questionable pile. Okay. Okay. We can question it. I'm not sure if it's going to answer you or not. Well, I'm going to use... Uh... Who do you work for? How did you get here? <laughs> All right. I was a bad cop. You be the good cop. Be, this... be the good cop. I want to hear the good cop routine. Don't pay attention to that big, mean man. This, this definitely is silver. Are you sure? The marking is right there. Where? See it? Boink. Nine two five. Oh, you pulled up on me. One point, baby. Eight to seven, One George. Point. Eight to seven, George. I'm gonna okay. say no on this. This definitely is not real. That's a little rough looking. Here's a matching ring to go with it. I'm gonna so say no on that. Probably no, but that. There's another one. That's definitely. And I think that has a mini diamond in it, too. The one with the silver. It does. But, but diamonds don't count. Gems di don't count. Even though diamonds are a girl's best friend, unfortunately, I do not get a point for that. I thought you said I was your best friend. You are my best friend. That you're diamond in the rough? <laughs> okay. This definitely is not real silver. Why did you shifty, shady eyes side to side when you said, you are my best friend? What do you mean, Jeremy? Oh, you know what I mean. You just <laughs> literally did it again. This definitely is not real gold. It's a leaf. All right, so boom, boom. Not all going to ring lot. I'm going to say no to all these. You can tell because see all of the... Uh, the the, uh, the the wear, the and, wear the and the tear and the... And the yeah, I can see... No, that one I'm that one say. looks like gold that you just put in your fingers. This one? Yes. No. Are you sure? I'm looking through the camera through the viewfinder. No, this definitely is not gold. Okay. Well, maybe the color is off. I mean, I am this, colorblind though, too. This though, this might be silver. So Think we're going to say silver? no on that. All right, she says no to all of these. This one might be silver. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Boom! Is that another diamond in there ba -boom. too? Boom! Nine there, two five. There is. There's another mini diamond in there. Are those matching mini diamonds? They are. Look at that. They're matching mini diamonds. I love it. All right. So now it's nine to seven. Not a bad. Not a bad find so far. What else you got? All right. What else we got? This bracelet definitely isn't real. This bracelet, though, look at the gems on the outside. Those are cool. All right, I'm looking. I doubt that this is real. Look at the way that... Uh... Keeping in mind that costume jewelry a lot of times can be more expensive, more valuable mm -hmm. than gold jewelry yeah. and silver there, jewelry. There is a lot of high-end costume high, jewelry. High, high-end. And we find a lot money. in storage units. I'm going to say no on this. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Positive. She's right. I'm just trying to make her second guess herself. <laughs> just trying to test her. Uh, that one's interesting. A bow and one, arrow. This one is interesting. But I don't think it's real. No? No. All right. That's not real. That was the bow and arrow ring. Not real. Now she's got a little bit of a hodgepodge mess here's, over here. Here's some more hoops. Bigger the hoops, bigger the score. Bigger the loops. Score. Bigger loops. The, the loops. Loops. I'm not sure what that means, but because it's a loop de loop. Okay. This I definitely is not real. There would be a score. I'm gonna say no on those. It's like playing baseball, running around the bases. Bigger the hoops, bigger the score. <laughs> I'm not chasing after that ball. You just have a home run. And I'm gonna uh, say no on that. What are you going to say yes to? And last piece. I'm going to have to say no on that one. The little heart piece? Yeah. So that puts me in the lead with... In the leave? You're leaving? Oh, in the nine, lead. La, nine points. In the lead. <laughs> in the lead with nine points. You're throwing me off. 
Come on, come on, big money, 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 big money. Look what I just found. Like it's a toy, like it's a toy or something. Toy, that's two points. That's gold. Right there. Tie game again. Tie game again. I'm thinking either this. I think we had looked at this at one point. I can't remember, it's been so long. Maybe I should look at this. Man, that's a lot of stuff in there. You know what? I am gonna look at this. I think there's potential here. I think there's good potential here. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's dig in. It's nine to seven. Uh-huh. And I think there's some potential for me to actually find some points here. A nice locket. Lock it, pocket, polka dot it. But you know, there's some discoloration in here as well. You can see some wear and rubbing. So I'm gonna say that one is a no-go as far as real. If, it, if there was any gold, it was probably gold-plated. Mm -hmm. Here's a little something here as well, another pin. And we've decided that gold-plated does not count. Gold-plated does not count this time around. This is a retired something. Typically, these old-school these old school backings that screw off instead of compression fit on and off, mm -hmm. usually they're gold nine times out of 10. That does... It's got marking, but I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. Unfortunately, some kind of membership pin for something. I couldn't read it through the through the lights in the viewfinder. Did you? Did you see? I what didn't it was? see anything. Some kind of UAW. But then again, I wasn't really paying attention. A retired member of something. So I'm gonna say that's probably not. Oh, whoa! Look at this! Look at this! Is that old Roman coinage? That's oh. old Roman coinage. So something about an emperor. Emperor who? Napoleon. Was that Napoleon? Dynamite? The emperor got his groove back. Maybe someday I'll get mine. And we've got, check this out. Look at this here. This is, you know what? I'm really not sure what that is. Some type of bracelet? It is a bracelet. It definitely is a bracelet. Um, but it's not more, wait, 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 it's marked, it's marked right there. We might be way off. This may not even be a bracelet. It might be something else. It might be a ball and chain. Where did that actually, did you hide the loop from me? No, you dropped it. Dropped it. I threw it. I it's threw it. down there? Um, okay. We're going to set this as, maybe I can see it with my bionic eye. There is a marking. There's a marking right there. Well, let me see if I can see. Mm. What'd you see? Can I see? It, it's not 925. It's not. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Paper towels. Never have enough paper towels, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Look at this right there. 14 <laughs> karat gold right there. Mason my. button. Freemason button, 14 karat gold, right there. Let's see. Ooh. Remember when I said most of these backs, if you if they spin off instead mm -hmm. of compression, they're usually gold. Now the question is, is it gold filled? It is not marked gold filled. Honestly, the the only th okay. So you see, you see where the look here. You see how it's bent to the angle? It's mm -hmm. got to bend up. Mm -hmm. It's got a little, uh, like it's got an implant and it, it goes up instead mm -hmm. of straight. Mm -hmm. So that tells me it's gold. Gold is much more malleable. It's bendable. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the only thing that tells us that this is gold is the actual backing. So do I get a point? It's on a piece of paper, not on the actual pin. That's what I'm trying to say. Do I get a point if it's on paper and not the pin, yeah. even though we know it's gold? Sure. Okay, so we know Freemason pins. We've sold a lot of Freemason pins. We get a lot of Freemason pins. We know they're gold. So there's, right there, we're tied now. We're actually tied, believe it or not. That's two points for gold. Two points for gold. I'll take that gold all I can get it. And check this out. Look at this. I got coinage. Oh, things are about to get amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at his face. George, look at this. Look at this. What look are we at this. looking at? What are We're we looking, looking at? at some amazing stuff. Okay, let's start over here. Oh, I already know that's gold and silver and silver and silver and. Ah! Oh my gosh, I should have picked this. Yes, you should. My should've. hand was all over this and I went with the pink. Hey, I know where your hands have been. All right, so 
So let's see what we have here. This is Bell another. Actually, kind of <laughs> looks like it. I'm kidding. I know that it's not a belly button ring. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of looks like it is not marked, so we'll set that aside. This is probably, all right, this is 25 years, Lotus 25 years. This is no doubt. That's gold. But just looking at the back, it's not, I don't know. There is the some The back doesn't scream gold. Yeah, there is discoloration. Um, okay, we're just going to set that aside. Not gold. I'm not too worried right now, to be honest. I know that's gold right there. Oh, that's no, oh, we're going to get to it. All right. <laughs> fellow, uh, fellow craft team, 25 Two years, years of, of service. service. And right there, come on, what does that say? If only I could read, if only I could read. Gold, gold filled. filled. Gold filled. Ah, 1938. Does not from what I'm seeing upside down, 19, November 25th, 1938. That yeah. is a beautiful piece of history there. All right, let's check this out. This actually looks gold as well. Small little tie tack. And it is marked, although I cannot see. Hayward. Okay, Hayward. Discoloration in here for sure. Some deterioration. I do not believe that's gold. But I'll tell you what I do believe is gold. This right here, oh, it's a class this ring. is a class ring. This is undoubtedly I gold. I see the one nine on the one side. Okay, do you see it marked with gold right right in there? What's it, it say? 10K. 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 11 to 9. You want me to, you want me to pause for a station break identity or I mean what do you want me to do? Should I just keep going? Just keep going. Wait, not 10 to 9, 11 to 9. Did I say 10 to 9 or 11 to 9? I heard 11 to 9. Okay, 11 to 9. In my mind, I think I said 10 to 9. This, that's not gold. That's garbage. Okay, but check this out. 1972, 1971. We're still, I'm still getting points for any silver money, right? That's 71, the quickest way you can talk silver. 70, this is a bicentennial. That's not, so, oh, this is definitely silver. Look at this right here. So, something, something, something. Lawrence Chapter Ram number 176. So, Port Lawrence Chapter Ram. Night. It's silver. It we just can't prove silver. it. We can't prove it, but that is silver. Toledo, Ohio. That's silver. Can't prove it. Like some type of class pendant, maybe? Something like that. Okay. All right, here is, I believe that's a Walking Liberty. That's silver, it has silver content. 1991, now look, here's how half dollars used to be, 1997. Mm -hmm. And then here's how half dollars transitioned, mm. 1997. You can see the size difference there. 1964, right here. Okay, so this is, you can see here, you can see this is silver, this is not. Mm -hmm. You see that there? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? This isn't a half dollar. This is a one dollar. That is a dollar. Then one we change the Susan B. Anthony's. Okay. Here's more. There's more and more. More silver. And oh, this one. Someone drilled a hole right through it. Yeah, that's pretty typical. Pretty typical. People will drill holes through. There's Walking Liberty right there. There's silver content in there. Oh, that one has a, the hole drilled right through her face. Maybe. Maybe she won't shut up. Just Excuse me? Nothing. Nothing. Look at this. Here's a 1900. Look at that. 1900. Look at that. Oh, wow. United States of America, $1 coin. That's silver. It has a percentage of silver. So I still get points for silver, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to... Are you sure you're going to give One me all point these points? for silver. You're seriously going to give me all these points? Yeah. Remember what I said to you earlier? When you lied to me and you said you really wanted me to win. That was no lie, was Mr. Lie. Jeremy. That was all heart and truth. U.S. Liberty Loan Salesman, fourth loan, 5138. And there's markings. I don't know if you see it or not, but there's a marking right there. It says W-E-M Co. W and M Co. Maybe? Okay, well... Not the kind of marking I wanted, to be honest, but that's okay. Here is, okay, here's a pendant, 
of another coin with silver. That's an old dime. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of silver. Um, gee whiz. Where did we get all this silver? Here's a, here's a gold band. Is there any gold in it? See where it was cut off? It was yes. actually cut off of a, of a hand. And if, if it was marked, it's no longer marked. It's worn through, but I believe, I'm going to set that aside, I believe there's potential of that being gold as well. There's just so much good stuff in here. Canada, eh? Look at this. So, not sure exactly what that is, but... It's a pretty piece. Do have it. It's right here. It is the T-W-S-S-T-K-S-H. Somebody's going to know what that is. It's mm -hmm. just not going to be us. Not sure what that is either. Here is another. Is that, it's a retired member. -E That's we found one of these before. Oh, there it is. We're over here. We found it on this on this piece of paper. So there's a matching over there. There's another cuff link that matches the other one we found. Okay. All right. There's some Canadian money in here. Look at this. 1915. United States of America, 1915. I actually have never seen this before. That's a five. You centavos. see it? You see it? Mm -hmm. Five centavos. Did I say it right? Filipinas. It's Filipino money. But you see what it is. United States of America. America. Because United States of America took over the Philippines and became, right? Do I have my history right? You're Filipino. I thought you would know this. Do I have my history right? <laughs> okay. All right. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm Filipino now. You're a bunch of stuff. Look at this here. There's, um, what's the date on that? 18... 1878. 1878. Holy cow. Do you remember where you found this? Or was this from Anne? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I do not remember, unfortunately. Was, was this from Anne? Was this her so. part of the collection? Mm -hmm. Okay, 1926. We love foreign coins, and it's so fun to, to see what coins look like from around the world. Now, most of the foreign coins that we find in the coin collection, they go to my kids. My kids just hold on to them. It's part of, part of the history of what they get to hold on to as far as what dad has found. And particularly my oldest, Chelsea, actually gets that. Look at that one penny. 1938 38. again hole drilled through it okay and usually that was for to be a pendant the other thing old money when times were tough if you didn't have a you didn't have buttons and let's say i need to button something up you drill a hole drill a hole put a piece of thread and you use a coin as a button one of the oldest coins we've ever found in a storage unit was actually used as, as a, a button. button unfortunately because it decreases value but at the same time, super, super cool. Jeez, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. There's another Walking Liberty. A lot of these have, have you know, blemishes on them. But still cool to have. Very, very, very cool to have. Um, that's another... Hickory? Another tie. Or Hickok. Or uh, Cufflink. So there's a Hickok Cufflink. There's a pair there. Here is... Hmm. This is a tie tack, Hickok. Okay, Hickok USA. I think that might be silver in there. Maybe I see the tarnishing. Let's see if we can find Hickok U USA. Mm -hmm. All right, not marked. Is that a J? That looks like a J to me. Phew. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking if that's a J, I'm thinking hey to the hey, hey, hey. Might looks as well good there. sport a little bling, right? Sure. This looks like silver. And mm -hmm. what's it? It's marked. It is marked. What is it marked, though? That sure does look like silver to me. I can't tell. Sterling, right there. So I'm at 12. Mrs. I can't tell. There's 12. 12 <laughs> points there. Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't tell. I haven't magnified this big. I can't tell. Oh, look, there's an M. You know who that's for? J and M. So, no, not Sterling. Okay, look at all these coins. Okay, let's, let's admit. 
This is an impressive lot of coins here. Uh, here's some buffalo nickels. There's some pennies. There's some Wheaties. There's some foreign coins like this one from 1925. There's a 10 center from 1925. Here's a Canadian loony. And wait, wait, this might be something. This might be something. This might be something. All right, this is Eastern Star. So this is the female version of Freemasons. This is Eastern Star. And what do you see right there? Right there, you see it? Mm -hmm. What's it say? I don't know. Really? You don't know? 10K. Yeah, I saw that. What was I at? 12? Now I'm I at 14, know. Mrs. Nine. 14. 14 to 9. What about this? Is that. Uh, it's, definitely, it's marked something. 2 1 something 7 4. Yeah, but there's markings down here. Can you read there? Oh. Nope. Convenient. You can't read, and I don't have our magnifying glass. Mm. <laughs> Very convenient. All of a sudden, you can't read. Ten years don't away. Don't get me wrong. I'm back in the day. Jeremy. Listen, when back in the day, they actually put a lot of gold and a lot of silver in these in these pins and and commemorating your your service. Whereas nowadays, companies don't do that anymore. It's just a piece of you know base metal. And but it was gold and silver back in the day. That's most likely gold, but I can't tell right now. Look, here's another here's another quarter, and this is silver. You can tell by the tarnishing. You can tell by and the difference it that it looks like. And then there are no ridges. It's smooth. Anything 1974 and before has has uh, a percentage of silver. Half dollars, just for a few years over 1974 to 1979, actually has a percentage, a small percentage of silver as well. So there are other coins in here, right? Definitely other coins in here. Wait, one more thing. That is, I think that's Eastern Star as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. That's Eastern Star as well. And where was I at? 14 or 15? I lost track. We'll say 14. Just I just be... know that you are where you need to be. Okay, so. And that's ahead. So Winning. that's a lot of coins with a lot of silver content. Instead of actually counting every which one, which would take us forever. We agree it would take us forever, right? Yep. Oh my goodness, look at this. More. There's more potential gold content right there. Hopefully more potential. This is probably the roulette. This is probably silver as well. You know what? What if we do this? Sterling, right there. So if I wasn't at 15, I am at 15. That is sterling, for nice, sure. Nice. So if I wasn't at 15, I'm now at 15. What if we do this? You were at nine, right? Uh-huh. And what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours, right? Or what do you usually tell me? What's yours? I always say what's mine is yours. No, what you always tell me is, Jeremy, what yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. So, no, I always say, Jeremy, what's yours is mine. Yes, yes, you definitely say that. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> this looks gold. I mean, I always say, what's mine is yours. This looks gold for sure. Even though there's some tarnishing there, I think that was gold plated up top. Lots of cool pieces. Do you think this opens? I'm so happy for you. You, you are not. <laughs> you are not. You're happy Why is that so hard it? to believe? Because you're the infamous George. Um... So there's another there's cool piece. Okay. At the so let's do this. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours, and I'm at a, at a minimum fifteen, right? So because I feel so bad for blowing this out of the water, even though I think there's even more I could potentially win with, <laughs> and you open this up yet, I'm gonna give you all these coins for, what? for your tally, and I say. That at least, at a minimum, ought to tie you with me. 15 to 15. Deal? Deal? What if I don't want it? Oh, what please. if I respectfully decline? Please. You have never not wanted it. Deal or new no year, deal? New year, new me. Deal or no deal? <laughs> Pinky promise if you want the deal. Deal or no deal? No deal. You keep it. All right. So how many points do I get for that then? I don't know. You're winning. So you're going to give me what? One point for all that silver? No. I don't want to count it all. There's a lot there. I don't there. want to count it either. So we'll say 16 to 9. Deal? Sure. 
Ooh. That was a good round, Jeremy. Best round I've Tons had of yet. interesting things. You Be know what? Yeah. If you can find silver, yeah. then I can attempt to find silver. Oh, she found I'm a bag. You say. found a bag of money. I'm going to take this There's bag of money. There's another bag of money. See okay. if I can find some silver. Okay, you found a little something there. That's for sure. See if you can find silver as well. I'm finding a lot of random rubber bands. Okay, that's always... Um, what is that? Not worth a point. Mm -mm. Is that Canadian? That would be Canadian, A. Eh? Yes. Canadian, A. Eh? Yes, some Here's Canadian money is definitely worth money or is worth silver content as well. These are all common right now. Okay, keep keep nothing, looking. Nothing. You want a war nickel for silver. I mean, after that big find that I just had, I mean, I got a figure. You'd mm. come up with something, right? Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling really, 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 really lucky. How lucky? I can't even explain it. It's, you're feeling that lucky? I'm feeling that lucky. You're just feeling lucky because I found all that money. That's what it is. All right, so here's all the the silver. The silver and coinage. The and then all the copper. You and... know what, Jeremy? I, I want the deal. I, I want... What deal? I want the deal that you just... Uh, that you just mentioned. What deal? All the coins that you found. You want, hold a second. I want it. You I want the deal. You said, you, I even I tried to pinky deal. promise you. I want the deal. So the what's deal's that gonna? Still on. The deal's still on the table, right? Pinky promise I don't, me. What else are you gonna put on the table <laughs> for the deal? Since you you turned it down, what else are you putting on the table? Pinky what, promise. What me. will that do for us? Will that tie? I get the deal Is and it, we tie. We tie. And the competition continues. So we're at sixteen sixteen. You better give me something else. I want something else to do this deal. What else are you putting on the table? I can't say. 